In this video, I will be showing you how you can stake on KuCoin and actually earn passive income through the staking process of staking your coins on the KuCoin platform. I'm going to show you everything step by step over the shoulder so that you can follow along and stake your cryptocurrency as well. Now, if you have not yet got a KuCoin account, I will leave a link in the description where you can go ahead and sign up for KuCoin. And with that link, you can claim a 20% discount on all of your trading fees. With that being said, let's get into the actual video where I can show you how you can actually stake with KuCoin. So the first thing that you want to do is of course, log into your KuCoin account. And once you are logged in, Let's go up to this earn tab at the top. Now, if you open this up, you can see we have an overview of KuCoin Earn. We also have savings, staking, promotions, and KYC bonus. Now, I'm not going to be touching on any of the advanced staking methods in this video because they are more advanced, they are a little bit more risky, and we are just going to go with the nice staking options right here. So the first is the actual staking itself. This is just the basic staking on KuCoin. Now you can scroll down and see the staking options and it's going to list all of the coins that we can currently stake on KuCoin. With some of these, you will see they are unavailable. They are either in an accruing period or they are simply sold out. So you can only actually stake coins that have the subscribe button next to it that are like this darker black color. Now what you can do is we can toggle a few things. So you can toggle for only your coins and then this will only show you coins that you currently have that you can go ahead and stake. So with KCS right here, we can see this is sold out sadly. Or alternatively, you can go to the search bar and just search for certain coins. So if I search for Cardano, you can see the APR right here. So we get a 3% APR by staking this. The term is flexible and the redemption period is one day. So let me actually go ahead and explain what all of these menu items mean. So on the term, you can see all of these on the basic staking menu are flexible. So this means you can put your coins in and take them out, get them back out of the staking pool whenever you like. Alternatively to this, we also have flexible and then we have fixed terms. So if I just go into earn once again, and instead we go into like promotions, for example, you can see the term, we can change this between like flexible, seven day, 14 day, 30 day, and 35 days. What this means is they are locked up, they are staked, and I cannot get them back for 35 days. So if you go into here, you can see that you get a better APR, but as I say, you can't get them back at any time. They are locked up for 35 days and they are only going to be unlocked. You can only get them back after 35 days or after 14 days. It really depends on the term you select. Now, as well as the term, we also have a redemption period. Now, what the redemption period means is how long after staking does it take to get your coins back? So if I use Polkadot as an example here, this has a really annoying redemption period. But what this means is after I'm finished staking, after I say, okay, I want my coins back, it then takes 28 days to actually get them. That's what this redemption period is. With KSM, I can stop my staking. It's then going to take seven days for me to actually get my coins back, be able to trade them and everything like that. So you do need to take in mind not only the term, but also the redemption period that comes with these coins. We do have a few that is like one day, even AP right here is zero days, so you get it back pretty much instantly. But as you can see, all of these, although they are flexible, they do have varying redemption periods, which is something you do need to keep in mind when staking your tokens. But as this example, let's say that we want to stake Atom, you can see we have an APR of 12%. So we just click subscribe right here. And then right here, it's going to show you everything that you need to know about this. So the subscription date, the accrual date, the profit distribution date, and then you can see the profits are received daily. So once your Atom is staked in this example, because the profit received is daily, your profits will be added to your account on a daily period. It's just your initial investment that you will need to wait 21 days to get back. And then to actually go ahead and stake your crypto, you just need to type in how much Atom you would like to actually go ahead and stake. Go ahead and click this and then hit subscribe and that will stake your Atom. Obviously, I can't do this because I don't have any Atom, but that is how you can do the base level of staking. Now, we do have a few different options right here. We have savings. As it says right here, compounded daily with flexible subscriptions. So we can go in here. Once again, we can see like a flexible term. 
we can see the APR that is with each of these. So once again, we would just go in with USDT, for example, enter in how much you want to stake, and then you can go ahead and stake this in the flexible savings section. We also have this promotion section, and in the promotion section, this is where you can choose between different terms that you stake and lock your crypto up for. So once again, we can go ahead and choose these, and you will see with each of these terms, it's going to change the reference APR or how much we can earn on this crypto. So we can see there's actually a very, very nice offer on USDT for seven days right now. So you just go down here and you can choose the term that you want to lock your crypto up for. Obviously the APR that you will be earning is going to decide like which one you choose, but you can choose between any of these. You can choose flexible, 14 day, seven day, 60 day. Some of these even go up to 270 days but you can go through, find your coins, choose how long you want to lock them up for, and then you can subscribe this way. We also have this KCS bonus menu. Now KCS, what this actually is, is this is the platform coin of KuCoin. It is the KuCoin token. And the cool thing about this is just by holding this, you will be able to earn passive income just by holding the token. So right here, you can see that I actually don't have enough you need at least six KCS to actually start earning with this. And the way that this works is they basically pay you out a percentage of people's trading fees. So obviously for every trade that you make, KuCoin takes a small percentage of that. They then gather that up and hand out a percentage of that to people who hold KCS. Now, obviously you need a minimum of six KCS to start actually receiving these KuCoin bonuses. But the more KCS you hold, the more that you will be able to earn just by holding these KCS tokens. And then if you want an overview of all of this, you can go into KuCoin Earn right here, where it combines all of these menus into one area. So if we take Litecoin, for example, we can go down and see the only way that we can stick Litecoin is through the flexible savings, which is what we touched on earlier right here. But with Bitcoin, for example, we can open this up and we can see there's a lot of different ways and a lot of different options that we can choose to stake Bitcoin. So that is how you can stake your cryptocurrency with KuCoin. If you found this video valuable, don't forget to smash that like button and tap that subscribe button. And until next time, take it easy.